Hello and welcome back. This is the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is part of our automation series. Just a quick little short video this one, um, but you might find this particular part of MIDI QLL really, really useful. So I'm in the MIDI configuration settings. Um, I've clicked on the workflow settings. You can see that behind workflow settings to bring up our menu and under the mechanics tab this very first area Could be something that really makes a difference to your game and it's a really really simple little thing Add an effect when your hit points fall below whatever percentage you want um, I have this on when I use MIDI um, and I say that when you fall them below 50%, in other words, you hit half health, I can pick any one of these that I like. Uh, bleeding is the one that makes the most sense. Like if, you know, things like uh, you're below 20% of your hit points, you're blinded, doesn't really make sense. Um, but I like to use bleeding. Um, so I'm gonna stick that in there and I can choose whether that's going to not update my token put it as an overlay or has it as an icon. So the icon is in the top left corner and overlay is over the entire thing. So it's a nice little thing I like to have on and it just gives, because I don't show my hit, the hit points of monsters to the players, when they're dealing damage, they have no idea how badly injured that monster is until it's suddenly dead. So I quite like that because it gives them an indication that they have just fallen below half their health. So they can, you know, uh, the, the, the monster they're fighting is getting battered, it's bleeding, it's bruised or whatever. They can see some kind of effect of what they're doing. Uh, and especially in big boss battles, um, it's nice for them to realise that they are actually getting somewhere. <laughs> and also they freak out when they realise it's still only just under half hit points. Now the bit below this, you can add an effect when a actor hits zero hit points. And we've got a difference between player controlled actors and game master controlled ones. So again, there's a whole bunch of stuff that you can pick here. When your player hits zero hit points, what do you want them to do? Do you want them, you, what do you want them to show stunned? You can do that if that's what you want or petrified or whatever it might be you might use exhaustion now obviously the rules as written would say that they become incapacitated now when we looked at a couple of other things such as targeting and stuff um, one of the things was saying about all oh, target things that you know or don't target things that are dead and one of the options was don't target things that are dead or incapacitated. Now, as far as I'm concerned, if my player falls down and they're on zero hit points, they're incapacitated, and then somebody casts a fireball when they're caught in the middle of it, they absolutely should be taking damage from that. They don't suddenly become immune. Um, so I don't use that setting. I do use ignore dead, because there's no point in applying damage to dead people, um, but I don't apply it to incapacitated. But I do like to do that. Um, for the game master controlled monsters and things, generally, they would hit dead um, and they would be marked as dead and again I can choose whether I have an effect overlay or an icon. Now with these ones because that actor is basically out of the fight either incapacitated or dead I use the overlay. Um, so it's just a nice little thing that adds here. Now I'm going to slightly cheat if I take Sorryman I can manually just reduce his hit points um, down to about half so as soon as he hits uh, it's like 16 hit points he takes that 22 points of damage and you saw that bleeding effect is now attached to him because he's now under that 50% of his health threshold. I can heal him up again, or at least some way, and because he's now over 50% of his health, he loses that bleeding so um, that he's had some healing, whatever it might be. Uh, and that's going to work exactly the same for this gobbo, so keep an eye on the gobbo here. He's only got seven hit points. If I drop him to three, he's now bleeding um, and again if I heal him up it takes that off again so it's just a nice little bit of automation you might not choose to use it but I think it just adds a, adds a little something and of course if I kill this goblin boom he becomes dead and I get this skull overlay rather than icon to saying he's dead and I can do exactly the same to Sorryman and some of you will have seen this in my videos and not necessarily realized where it comes from so if I drop him to zero hit points 
he drops to incapacitated. Uh, and if I look on his effects tab, we can see incapacitated is indeed um, uh, uh, switched on here. So it's not just putting an overlay on, it is actually updating the character, which means that does actually filter through to any other actions, such as casting spells that require them to be incapacitated or whatever it might be. Uh, and again, any kind of healing, just one hit point. He's no longer incapacitated, but he is bleeding uh, because he's below 50% health. So just a little short little video. Just wanted to show you that, let you know that that is a thing that comes just a, this relative to the, all of the options that we've got. It's kind of tiny and it's kind of hidden away there. So that's just at the top of mechanics, this little box here. Um, use it, don't use it. I personally love it. Um, you know, apart from taking away some of the extra dice rolls and clearing up the chat cards, this is probably my next favourite little feature. Really, really simple. Just adds that bit of colour. But anyway, that was it. One of the shortest videos I've ever done, eh? Take care, everybody. I will see you in the next one.